Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. I'm your host, Lee Zen. Today we'll be doing GitHubception. What does that mean? Managing GitHub from GitHub? It means exactly what it says it means. It means we're going to manage GitHub using Pulumi from GitHub. So we're going to be using the GitHub actions and, and CI integration with Pulumi to modify GitHub uh, as we're using GitHub. It's truly GitHubception. So let's just get started. I think hopefully it'll be a little bit clearer what I mean as we go along. So we have this open terminal window. Uh, what I really wanted to show was just kind of what the, the file structure looks like. Um, so if we go down here, uh, I'm in my GitHubception directory. Um, and uh, if I look in here, um, I have this project called GitHubception. So even within my own folder structure, it is a little bit uh, inception-y where I have GitHubception within GitHubception. Uh, Gitception, and uh, if I look at uh, oops, if I look at uh, I have a GitHub uh, directory, and if I look at uh, GitHub, um, you'll see I have some workflows, and uh, these workflows are more or less uh, what's listed in the Pulumi GitHub Actions uh, documentation. So if you if you look at uh, under Continuous Delivery Pulumi GitHub Actions uh, on the Pulumi website, you'll find uh, kind of how to set up GitHub Actions. Uh, to run your Pulumi programs as part of a uh, uh, continuous delivery uh, setup. So uh, you can basically run Pulumi previews and ups, uh, and then also just create workflow files, and there's some example templates in here. And so I've basically set those up um, in, uh, in, our little, uh, in our little repo here. And so you can see we just, you know, we have this workflow running, and it, you know, it pulls the repo and it runs, it runs our program. So that's great. And well, how are we going to achieve GitHubception? Well, the way we're going to do that is we're going to manage that GitHub repo uh, using Plumi, but that's going to get executed using GitHub. So let's let's try that. Uh, so we're going to use the uh, 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 GitHub. Uh, oops, it's Plumi. I believe it's called Plumi GitHub. So we're going to actually use this particular provider. Um, so you can see it's called the Plumi GitHub. I'm using I'm using C Sharp today. Uh, Plumi offers multiple languages. I'm going to be using C Sharp today. Uh, and so we're going to use the uh, GitHub provider. All right. And uh, let's do that. And if I can look at uh, my stack, right now I have nothing in here. And we're going to do something super simple. First, let's just, let's, you know, Plumi, we have hundreds of repos. Uh, I think something like over 100 repos uh, in, 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 in Plumi, and so it'd be nice to be able to manage all of our uh, issues uh, with, uh, with the Plumi program, which we can do actually, so uh, our issue labels. And so uh, let's create a, uh, we're gonna create a pull request to see all this happen in action, so let's switch branches, um, let's call it issue labels. And so, um, we can see kind of how that might work. We we would probably want to get all the repositories uh, for this particular organization, so we can look at how this this particular thing works. Um, so we would do something along these lines. So I'm just going to copy this. I don't actually need this to be an output. Let's just start with this. Um, so we call this repos, and I don't need this to be an output. I'm just going to iterate through all the repos. Um, and oops, I need to use. Okay, and uh, we're gonna use this and just like that. So that's a very basic query. And then, you know, just to make sure this works, we can just iterate through the uh, various repos. Oops, and this should be the uh, Result. That. And we want the names. So we can go through each name and we can just like for now let's just let's just uh, use Plumi log and we'll just uh, we'll just do this little debug thing here. So this just wanna show you kind of how uh, oops show you how the uh, provider might work. So let's make sure I'm in the right directory. And I already have this configured with my uh, GitHub token. 
So the provider has the GitHub token uh, configured, so we should be able to execute and call this uh, function, and uh, it should spit out a huge list of repositories. So let's see if that works. And you can see here we have all these different uh, repositories that, that get listed. So now let's actually do something against those repositories. Uh, so as I, as I was mentioning, like one convenient thing you could totally imagine doing is going ahead and creating a, um, an it, like we want to manage a common set of issues across all the repos. So let's do that. Let's like create an issue that's going to, uh, an issue label, I keep saying issue, but issue label. Let's create an issue label that exists in every single repository. And like, that would be great because then we don't have to manage different labels in different repos uh, separately. So how can we do that? Well, if we go back here, uh, there's an issue label uh, resource. So we're just going to create one of these. And we got our handy dandy auto completion here. So we'll, we'll, um, you know, call this something like example label, and we'll give it a new, uh, issue args, and this takes um, a color, description, name, and repository, so the repository is going to obviously be uh, the repo. And um, the color, let's make it uh, Pulumi purple, so let's look at the, the uh, Pulumi.com uh, slash brand, I think, yes. Let's get this, uh, I don't have it memorized, unfortunately, yet, uh, I, I will eventually, so let's get this color in here. Um, and then I think we need um, a name, and so we'll call it like Plumi TV. All right. So let's say you know let's say we want this Plumi TV label in every single one of our repo repos. So let's let's do this. So we could run the preview here, um, and let's see what happens. So this should go ahead and create all these different resources for us. Uh, if if we were to run up. Obviously, I'm running preview, and you can see it's proposing to create all these different issue labels. Um, and we can actually, let's go, go ahead and try to create the pull request. Uh, yeah. Oops, I don't have this on stream. So if we go ahead and open this PR, we should get a uh, action that will then, um, and now I don't have it set up to include the action here, but if we, uh, if we go look at here, we have this action that automatically runs to give us the preview. Um, and, and actually, uh, after this runs, we should get a comment on our PR from the uh, Pulumi bot. So I'm going to wait for that to run. And uh, through the magic of TV, we'll be right back. And we're back. So uh, this, this uh, run completed. And uh, if we look at the actual preview run, um, you know, we, we did everything we said we would do. We, uh, we you know got the action, we checked out the repo, and then we ran the action, and uh, it built, and then it, it proposed creating all the labels for every single uh, repository as we expected. So that's great. Um, let's not do that, though, because I don't actually want to truly touch every single repo. So let's add a little bit of a change in here. Let's let's add in um, Gitception, which is the repo I'm on right now. So this should only propose a change for Gitception. So let's do that. Let's only uh, apply labels to Gitception. And let's just push that. Uh, we don't even have to do the preview. And uh, that should just like do the preview. And we would expect that to, to not change too much. Um, so in, uh, in normal circumstances, we would wait for this pull request to, uh, for that action to complete again. Um, and you can see actually here it's, it's in progress, but I'm going to, uh, go ahead and just skip this, um, 
for the purposes of, of, of our demo, uh, since we already knew that the, the previous one passed. Um, and now this, you know, I can, I can actually do the preview locally just to double check um, in case we're really paranoid. And this, this filter should obviously only pick up that one repo for us. So uh, instead of doing all the repos, we'll have this one repo. And we can see that's true here. So we're gonna, only going to do this one, one label. And uh, because uh, let's, just, let's just push that. So let's merge this pull request. And if we look at our commit history, we will have had, uh, you know, we merged in these these changes. Apply label only to Gitception. And now we're going to run the push. Uh, this is the push action right here. And, uh, you know, each time pulling that container, it's a fairly decently sized image. So it takes, like, you know, on the order of roughly a minute. Um, so uh, I'm going to pause here and, again, through the magic of TV, show you the result in just a moment. All right, and we're back. So you can see this, this merge pull request completed. So let's take a look at what happened in our update. We ran this pull me action, and we actually just ran the up. And so we, uh, we went ahead and created that actual uh, label. And so if we go to our issues, we should, under labels, See a handy dandy Pulumi TV. What do you know? So that's awesome. So uh, just to recap what happened, this is pretty cool if you think about it. We used GitHub to manage GitHub via Pulumi. And so now every time we go ahead and uh, manage and edit our Pulumi program and we, we go ahead and create a pull request, we'll see a preview for what we would change about GitHub um, via GitHub. And, uh, and then every time we merge that pull request, we will end up changing some part of our GitHub configuration uh, through uh, GitHub. So it's kind of nice, nice little GitHub exception here we're doing. And uh, yeah, that's really what I wanted to show you, just kind of how cool it is to be able to uh, put together a few things, put together Pulumi actions along with the GitHub provider to be able to control GitHub through GitHub via Pulumi. That's a mouthful, which is why I called it Gitception. And if you like this episode, please subscribe to Pulumi TV. Uh, please like this video, and we'll be doing lots more fun Modern Infrastructure Wednesday every week on Wednesdays. Make sure you hit the uh, the notification button, too, to get notified of when new episodes come out for Pulumi TV. Again, I'm your host, Lee Zen. Uh, please uh, follow me on Twitter. You can follow Pulumi Corp as well. And uh, I'll post all the uh, code to the Pulumi TV uh, examples repo, uh, which is listed uh, here on the, uh, on the, on the uh, outro outro slide here. So if you go to uh, youtube.com slash uh, you'll also be able to get links to uh, all the various repos as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.